Aside from our previous video about Netherland Dwarf Rabbit, there's still some information you need to know about them. Feeding Rabbits 7 Months to 1 Year At this age, a young Netherlands dwarf is maturing into adulthood, and his diet will need other careful adjustments. Switch from alfalfa to hay. Around 7 months old, the loose alfalfa portion of the diet should be slowly replaced with hay. Oxbow Animal Health particularly recommends Timothy hay as a good source of roughage and nutrients, but oat hay and brome are also good choices and provide variety as well. Chewing hay gives rabbits an opportunity to grind down their teeth and keep them in good condition. Hay's high fiber content also keeps hairballs from turning into bowel obstructions. This is also the time to switch from alfalfa pellets to timothy pellets since alfalfa can be fattening for adults. Keep fruits to a minimum. A few fruits may also be introduced at this age, but use them as treats and offer them sparingly. A teaspoon-sized serving of apple or a thin slice of banana is more than enough. Follow the same plan for introducing fruit as recommended for vegetables, and watch to see if they upset your pet's digestive system. Netherland Dwarf Rabbit Full-Grown Adult Diet According to the Rabbit Producers Association, a Netherland Dwarf should receive approximately 1 8 cup per pound of body weight Unlimited fresh Timothy hay Unlimited fresh water Limited amounts of fresh vegetables Match amount of food to weight Each rabbit is unique, so you can increase or decrease the amount of pellets fed according to whether he feels too fat or too thin. This breed standard states adult bucks and does should top out around 2.5 pounds, so you can use that measurement as a guideline, but basically make sure his weight is a good match for his framework. Veterinary Care for Netherland Dwarf Bunnies Providing your Netherland with regular veterinary care can help you spot problems before they grow out of control. Just like cats and dogs, rabbits should receive annual checkups. Vaccinations According to Center Sinai Animal Hospital, pet rabbits do not require any vaccinations in the USA. However, there are a couple of serious diseases that rabbits need to be vaccinated against in other parts of the world, including Europe and the UK. Viral Hemorrhagic Disease This is a deadly form of Khaleesi virus, and even though it is not as rampant in the USA as it is in some other countries, rabbits should be vaccinated against the virus because it is highly contagious. The initial vaccination should be given between 12 and 14 weeks old, with boosters given according to your veterinarian's recommendation. Myxomatosis. This is a viral disease that is transmitted via parasites like mosquitoes, fleas, ticks, mites, and lice. It can also be passed from one infected rabbit to another, and the infection is usually fatal. This disease is not very common in the United States, and there is no vaccine approved for use in this country as of 2014. However, a vaccine against myxomatosis does exist and is used in the United Kingdom and elsewhere. The initial vaccination should be given at 6 weeks old and repeated yearly or at your veterinarian's recommendation. Parasite Control Rabbits are subject to fleas, mites, and other parasites just like many other pets. Let your veterinarian help you choose a rabbit-safe preventative product to protect your Netherland from these pests. Worming Intestinal worms can rob your Netherland of nutrition, so it's wise to carry out routine worming twice a year using a rabbit-safe worming product as recommended by your veterinarian. Dental care for your dwarf bunny. Netherland dwarf rabbits not only like to chew, but they also need to chew because their teeth grow constantly. If they don't chew frequently, their teeth can grow out of control. Your pet's diet of pellets and hay should help keep his tooth growth in check, but he'll also enjoy small chewable toys and branches from fruit trees. There appears to be a higher occurrence of malocclusion in Netherland dwarf rabbits than other rabbit breeds. Malocclusion occurs when a young dwarf has a growth spurt, but the jaw and mandible don't grow at the same rate. The bottom incisors protrude away from the upper incisors, which means they won't be able to work together when chewing to prevent them from growing out of control. It may be possible for the vet to trim the teeth in an effort to bring the problem under control. Grooming your dwarf rabbit Netherland dwarf rabbits don't need a lot of grooming since they keep themselves clean. When they're going through a period of shedding, they might appreciate a little help removing excess fur. Use a soft brush or comb and brush in the natural direction of the rabbit's fur. You can also take this opportunity to check for parasites. The nails on a Netherland dwarf will need to be trimmed regularly. You can do this yourself using a cat claw trimmer to trim just the nail tips, or your vet can perform the task for you. A little care goes a long way. Aside from the higher rate of malocclusion in Netherland dwarf rabbits, they are fairly easy to care for. Spend time with your pet each day so you can become more familiar with them. This will help you spot troubles early when they are generally easier to treat. Providing a good diet, regular cage cleaning, and some playtime will keep your Netherland healthy and happy. Netherland Dwarf Show Quality 
A good show quality Netherland dwarf will have a short, compact body that is well rounded, with the visual appearance somewhat of looking at half of a rainbow. As a senior, six plus months of age, will not weigh over two and a half pounds, the shoulders will be deep, and equally as wide as the hindquarters, showing no tapering. The overall appearance should be well balanced, with a top line showing that the shoulder depth is carried through to well filled hindquarters. The legs are to be short, and bone density should be medium consistent. One way to judge this is to look at the front leg. You don't want the leg to resemble a pencil or a cigar, instead you want something in the middle of that, having a resemblance such as a sharpie marker. When judging the Netherlands, they should be posed properly, in a natural state. In other words, they should not be pushed forward or down, nor should they be stretched out. To receive the best natural pose, handle the rabbit gently without forcing it into a set position against its will. It should present as being very well balanced throughout, without significant prominence being drawn to one particular feature of the animal, as this accomplishment is one preferred by the judges rather than having traits that stand out while other traits are lacking. Behavior Letting your Netherland dwarf rabbit know that you mean no harm can be a little bit of a learning curve. Because of their naturally shy and slightly skittish disposition, this rabbit is not recommended for families who have young children, as they can easily be dropped and get hurt if they are far off the ground. Socialize these rabbits at a young age and offer plenty of human interaction, their shy nature should diminish and you'll have an adorably energetic rabbit who enjoys the company of their human handlers. They are also great little bunnies for couples, singles, or seniors who live in either a home or apartment. Another learning curve is litter training. Like most rabbits, potty training them is arguably more difficult than teaching a dog and cat, but not impossible. Most rabbits go in a particular corner in their cage so it won't be too hard to find out where they'd rather go in your home. Many rabbit owners have found success by placing several rabbit litter boxes around the house so they don't have to hop all the way to their cage in order to do the deed. With lots of time, patience and rewards, it is very much possible to train these little bundles of fur where to do their business. Pet rabbits who are out of their enclosures generally need some toys to keep them occupied. This can be as simple as a few rolls of empty toilet paper rolls they can chew up. It all depends on your rabbit's personality and what they personally like to play with. As with any pet, be sure you rabbit-proof your room. Netherland dwarf rabbits are adorably little rabbits who can make amazing pets for the right owners. They are energetic and captivating companions. Remember before you bring any new pet into your home to make sure you do your research and prepare properly. Rabbits are adorable but they are also a lifetime commitment. Do your research to set yourself up for success, and you should have many happy years with your furry friend to look forward to. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.